In this video we're going to be looking at topic 10a which is just the general principles of the organic chemistry that you need to know for AS level. So this is part of the IAS chemistry course from Edexcel. There's not any past paper questions in this because we're just going to be looking at the key terms and reactions that you need to know. So we're going to be looking at how we classify reaction. We'll look at what is meant by a mechanism and that will be discussed later on in the topic as well looking at the different types of bond breaking and also knowing what electrophiles and nucleophiles are. So when we're looking at the types of reactions, the first one that we're going to look at is an addition reaction. And you'll have met these back in IGCSE as well as in topic four. So an addition reaction is where we have two reactant species combining to make a single product. For example, A plus B giving you C. And a reaction here would be an addition reaction of an alkene. So going from the alkene, ethene, and adding bromine to it and forming bromoethene. And you'll discuss the halogenal alkanes further in topic 10. The second type of reaction is an elimination reaction. And this is where we have at least two atoms or a group of atoms being removed from a molecule. And this is going to form a double bond between carbons as well as a small molecule. So this time we're going from one reactant to two products. So you can see here that we remove X and Y and we form the small molecule XY and then we make this double bond. So we make an alkene here. And you'll have seen that formation of an alkene from a saturated molecule back in topic five. There are also substitution reactions and you've seen basic substitution reactions in IGCSE. And this is where we have two reactant species combining to make two products. So A plus B giving you C plus D. And you'll see an example of this in topic 10 where we have the reaction between bromoethane and potassium hydroxide and we form an alcohol and this will be discussed further in topic 10b and topic 10c. An oxidation reaction, this time we're not looking at it in terms of redox reactions in terms of the electrons where we looked at in topic 8, this time we're looking at it in terms of oxygen and hydrogen. So oxidation is when an organic compound is going to gain oxygen or you can also say it loses hydrogen. The oxidizing agent is typically written just as a capital O in brackets because it tends to be quite complicated with some of the formulas. So we simply wanted to say that this is a source of oxygen. And an example of this is the formation of an aldehyde, a carboxylic acid or a ketone from an alcohol. And you'll discuss this a little bit further in topic 10, as well as in topic 15 of A2. A reduction reaction is therefore the opposite. And it is when an organic compound either loses oxygen or gains hydrogen. And the reducing agent, again, can be quite complex. So we simply write it as a capital H in brackets. And this is just to show that it is a source of hydrogen. So if the formation of the al aldehyde, the car ketone or carboxylic acid from the alcohol is oxidation, the reverse of that is the reduction. So going from one of those three molecules back to the alcohol. And again, you'll discuss this in topics 10 and topic 15. A hydrolysis reaction, you'll have probably seen at some point in GCSE very briefly. But, and you will look at this more in topic 10. So this is when we have an organic compound reacting with water and the OH group of a water is going to replace an atom or a group of atoms in the organic compound. So for example, we can have a halogenal alkane reacting with water to form an alcohol. And they can also be described as a substitution reaction because the OH group is substituting or replacing the X halogen atom or the um the x atom but it is just a subsection of a substitution reaction because it's specific that it's reacting with water we also have polymerization reactions which you met back in igcse and you covered as well in topic five and this is where we have our long chain of reactant monomers so remember a monomer meaning a one unit substance combining to form this long chain polymer polymer meaning 
many units. And an example is the formation of polyethene from ethene. Back in topic four and five, we looked at the different types of bond breaking. So the first one is homolytic fission. And this is where we usually have a non-polar bond or very similar electronegativities. And it's where when a covalent bond breaks, each atom keeps one electron and we're going to form a free radical. And we've seen this in free radical substitution reactions back in topic four. So we get the breaking of this bond usually by UV light and we form our free radicals. And a free radical, remember, it has an unpaired electron. The other type of bond breaking is heterolytic bond breaking. And this is a heterolytic fission is when the covalent bond breaks, usually a polar bond this time, and one single atom keeps both electrons. So you're going to form an anion and a cation. And then these anions and cations can act as electrophiles and nucleophiles, which we'll discuss more in just a minute. And you've seen examples of these with our electrophilic additions in topic five. And you look at nucleophilic substitution reactions of halogenoalkanes in topic 10. So you can see here that we're getting both electrons moving in the first instance to Y. So Y becoming our anion because it's negatively charged. And in the second instance, both of the electrons moving towards X. So X becomes our anion. Again, we have a double headed arrow. And this is showing the movement of a pair of electrons, as opposed to the single headed arrow that we see for homolytic fission, where we have our one electron moving. An electrophile is generally something that is positively charged and it is a species that is attracted to an area of high electron density and an example that you've already seen is the hydrogen hydrogen atom in an hbr molecule when we have electrophilic addition reactions so this hydrogen here is delta positive so it is slightly positively charged and it is attracted to the electron density in the pi bond that we have here so remember the pi bond is going to have electrons above and below the bond. So we're going to get an area of quite high electron density and that's going to attract this hydrogen and this therefore acts as an electrophile. And we form our carbocation and so on with the reaction. If you can't remember this, you might want to go back and have a look at topic five. And lastly, we look at nucleophiles. So a nucleophile is the opposite of an electrophile. It's generally negatively charged and it's attracted to an area of low electron density. So it's looking for a positive or a delta positive area. And an example that we will see in topic 10 is when we have an OH ion, which contains a lone pair of electrons attacking a center of carbon which is delta positive and this is because it has a low electron density. So in this case our OH group is acting as a nucleophile. Now these are all terms that you have to become comfortable and confident using during your answers and during your explanations and any diagrams. And you will see these more and more as you continue through topic 10, as well as into A2 chemistry. If there's any that you're not sure about, please feel free to leave a comment below and we hope to see you back soon.